Oh, we're back here. I guess we go see Alphys now. Here's the thing though. Like, where was Alphys at? Because I'm pretty sure when we went to go check her lab, remember? Hey, uh, this is Undying. Shut up, Papyrus. This was your idea. Human, you have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See ya, punk. My story, guys. I wonder if any more enemies are gonna show up. I guess not. Tra la la. The waters are wild today. That's good luck. Hmm. Hey, I have something to give you. But you're carrying way too much. What? Oh, from when I was and if i oh so did we go back in time interesting um so i have a favor to ask you Ooh, i i need you to deliver this lever uh deliver uh, my gosh this letter to dr alphys huh why don't i do it myself um well <laughs> what's that face it's kind of personal but we're friends so i'll tell you Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got Undyne's letter. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Okay. Why do I feel like I'm delivering a love le letter? Tra la la. Don't snoop behind people's houses. Don't snoop behind people's houses. You might be mistaken for a trash can. What? You guys think there's secrets behind people how people's houses? The door has no mail slot. Slide the letter letter under. No. You'll keep the letter warm for a little longer. I guess I'll slide it under, yeah. Slide. You slide the letter under the door and give it a knock. Oh. N no. Is that another letter C can't i just slide it back out N no i can't keep doing this i'll read this one um it, it's shut kind of strongly isn't it wait a second what was that hey if this is a joke it's Oh my gosh. D did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. Oh my gosh. Oh no. That's adorable. And I ha had no idea you um wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven, much less um this. And so passionately, too. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Y yeah, let's go on a date. What? Undying wrote, did write a love letter. Uh, sorry, I'm still getting dressed. How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um, anyway, let's do this thing. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. <laughs> Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection <laughs> statistic first. <laughs> That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date, right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. But first, I've got some metal armor polish. Um, maybe you can't use that, but I brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about items. Let's just start the date. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Uh, do you like anime? I mean, yeah. Hey, me too. Hey, let's go somewhere. What? <laughs> what? Where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Wait, why? <laughs> Here we are. Oh, wait. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. You find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really, um, 
So why don't you go on a date with Undyne? Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes! Hey, there you are! I, uh, realize if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Yeah. Have you at least seen her? Uh, yeah. Yes? So she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. No, she's right. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with, but, I mean, she's way out of my league. N not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny, and I'm just a nobody, a fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've turned with so many lies, she thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? What if I tell her that? She'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? <laughs> or a truth where neither of us are? They say be yourself, but I don't really like who myself is. Oh, I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> oh, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people find, learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Uh, I guess obviously let's role play. R role play? That actually sounds kind of fun. Okay, which one of us will be undying? I'll be undying. Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Hi, undying. How are you doing today? You're cute. <laughs> Thanks. You say that to me a lot, and I never know what to say. What? <laughs> but I know you just mean it platonically because we're just friends. <laughs> what? Uh, so i like to, um, talk to you about something. <laughs> then she kisses you? <laughs> what? And I would never, uh... <laughs> I kiss her back so softly. Don't talk like that. L look gently into her eyes and start hollering, What? A I love you. A dying kiss me again. Whoa! What did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but actually, I mean, we were, we were only romantically role-playing as you. What? I mean, I mean... Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was scientifically... And then I just used it to make ice cream. And then those historic human books and the Doki comics and the history movies. Those, those are just, uh, anime. They aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy on the phone. I was just eating frozen yogurt that time in Alphys. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Alphys. And Dine, I I really think you're neat, okay? Alphys. Shh. Shh. Dang, she a baller? 
office. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is not just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. <laughs> it doesn't matter what it is. You care about it 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys, I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. Dying, you... You're gonna help me? You're gonna train me? What? Me? <laughs> nah, I'm gonna let Kip for Virus to do it. Get those bones shaking. It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? It's about to st I'm about to start the timer. And I'm I'll do my best. Oh my gosh! She was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Uh, anime is not real. No, no. I can feel my heart breaking into pieces. No, I can survive this. I have to be strong for Alphys. Thank you, human, for telling me the truth. I try my best to live in this world. See you later. <laughs> what in the world did I just experience? Partaking in worthless Garbage kills you with determination. Where do I go to now? Oh Howdy If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus. You're also mutual friend I was and I have finished our training early very early. So I sent her home very home Uh, Now I feel strongly and for no apparent reason you should also go there to her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. He looked super worried, but I guess that's where we're going to next. We're gonna go to Hotland. Then we're off. Yeah, you know we're off. Cha la la. If it's hot or cold, you can count on me. To always get me to where I need to be. Ooh, bars. Thanks, River person. Oh, I can go in now. There's a note here. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yeah, sure. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. As difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that right now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Mm, it's an elevator. She said this was a bathroom. Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. Tim enter stability loss. Altitude dropping. What, what did it say? M tether. Whoa. Yo, where are we? Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. Oh, this is Alphys. I'll create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Oh. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Oh, this is weird, bro. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require an incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would be instantly would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death if only i could make a monster's soul last number five i've done it what 
using the blueprints I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe that this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death, the will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. Why? 